More than 1,000 days have passed since the Chibok girls went into captivity, and the Bring Back Our Girls campaign is trekking through the nation's capital to make a statement not just about the recovery of the girls, but now about the plight of those languishing in IDP camps across the nation. We shall always fight for our girls. Palpable is the sweat-filled commitment of an undaunted civilian movement, resilient to unite in common purpose over a nearly three-year span for young women who are denied such freedom. Chants of this cross-gender, cross-ethnic, cross-religious amalgamation of Nigerians with mothers and daughters speaks of an undying pursuit of not just the missing girls, but of a higher ideal. The soul of Nigeria! The soul of Nigeria! While traffic jams pile up at the scene, Police officials carefully safeguard protesters from vehicular movement without incident. But while freedom of movement and expression are today a guarantee in modern Nigeria, the Bring Back Our Girls group says the federal government must guarantee the freedom of all. People go disappearing daily, but we don't have a missing persons register. We don't have a setup in terms of people being uh, able to go to the police without being uh, asked to pay something. And some of them have said they've been bullied. As high-level corruption allegations continue to swirl around the federal government's interventions in camps for internally displaced persons, there is increasing intolerance for the status quo. Why should Nigeria behave as if we cannot find the solutions to improving the conditions of our internally di 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 displaced people? Our internally displaced people can become a scourge on this country. The lives and destinies of these missing young women remain imperiled, and while it is clear that their captivity is indefinite, definite is the resolution of this group to march on. Ajuri Ngilale, Channels Television News.